the coronavirus COVID-19 is the latest crisis that has affected the future of African youths in the current state of global crisis around COVID-19. restrictions <laughs> Ndiri <laughs> Mazwano wanu wako ngo sikuira wari banzi mbo tsa wechete ne kuda kwechi rwerechi ne kuti hauchaku kwani sekuno sangana nechi ne wamwe semugaru watanga tichita tine zimbo za taino sikuira tichitandara tichikurukura nyaya za kasi yana siyana asine kuda kwe denda ilizo hako timani kiza kuti tigare tiri banzi mbo kuitira kuti usabatu kwe nechi ne denda kuti usazo para rewa wamu wari kupi wari kumba so tichitarisa kunyangwe muna ara unda mukanzi maitika mariru Taizikano wa kutima youth, sewa na wechidiki, tayenda tichino bata mawako, tichienda tichino bati rana ni wamu. Asine kuda kwe ma regulations hapo iso iso. Kune limited number inenge chidiwa, saka pamupacho unutuzo na utikana uchingo wanunuka kusika za akutuzo kuhu. Mani kids akutusange uchi, uchi bati rana ni wamu mwripa mwechete. The impact of women's sexual and reproductive health and rights is not making enough headlines, but it is a reality that the crisis is having a truly devastating impact on the future of young boys and girls in Zimbabwe, specifically in the Macheke community. <laughs> but pandaita wa nzimu wa amazi angu zino shanda kunje utano nilevo yema STIs unatuko nituwende ya kasi muka kusemano eee sekuna kwangu pangupatu wa anawa chenda kuchikoro wani wani busy yema buko wani wani occupied mwai nisikanzwa mwati zikire doba jita hawa so at this time around kubama kusei kuchika maneru umana anasha lukuita at the end of the day entertainment and the is a very small community. At the end of the day, this year, Young women and girls in Macheke are less likely to return to school than their male counterparts and they are more likely to take up domestic care roles at home. Plan International Zimbabwe, rapid assessment on the situation of children in Zimbabwe 2019, reported that when food is not enough, it is reported that it is the women and girls who devise strategies for getting substitutes. COVID-19 has presented an opportunity of sexual violence and exploitation against girls as part of the devised strategies in order to ensure food provision at households. It is the same for the Macheke community as young girls mostly have been left desperate for their livelihood. 
COVID-19 shutdowns have disrupted early learning, formal education in livelihoods. The lives of girls, their families and communities face extreme stress from health and economic burdens, crowding and isolation. Measures to curb the disease have worsened existing inequalities, forcing girls out of school and placing them at heightened risk of violence in their homes. With school and university closures affecting nearly 91% of the world's student population, over 1.5 billion learners have their education disrupted, including 743 million girls. Nor can girls equally access online learning. Boys are 1.5 times more likely to own a phone than girls. <laughs> Yes, online lessons. So I should put a canakata basil. But in doing me say it, Vana Vacha Vacha. I just want to propose what a phony, Jason Pizza Pafoni Papa. Second, then we make it fit a baba. 